Hello, everyone. Today we will cover a demo on CI CD pipeline using GitHub, Jenkins, Docker, and Kubernetes on AWS and GCP. Actually, in this demo, I will cover uh, Kubernetes clusters uh, in both the cloud environment like AWS and GCP. And we will, we will create a pipeline uh, and deploy the uh, services in the Kubernetes cluster. And we will check those things on the AWS and GCP clouds. So this demo, I am covering end-to-end -end deployment. And I've covered uh, multiple scenarios for the deployment because I'm using here for AWS and GCP. So for the better understanding, I have divided this uh, demo in the different parts. So I'm moving to the next part. The first part, I am, I am just giving the introduction uh, that what we will cover overall in this demo and how we will create uh, the Kubernetes cluster and how we'll, create, we'll do in the CI CD pipeline for that. That is the introduction video in the part one. And I end up having, uh, this part one is, uh, we will in uh, part one, we will cover the Kubernetes cluster and CI CI CD pipeline. So how many ways we can create a Kubernetes Kubernetes cluster. So mainly I have here, I'm uh, taking three ways. So I've divided into three parts here. You can see here. You can see here in the part two, uh, I will use this to do, I will do the installation of the Kubernetes cluster with manager and nodes using the command line. We can do this installation in the both AWS and GCP environment. So, but I will cover uh, mainly this uh, deployment in GCP. I will do it here, but same process we can do in the AWS also. So here, what we will do, we will create one manager and two node server. So total three server we will create over here. So three server we can take in the AWS or GCP, and we need to run some specific command for creating the Kubernetes cluster. And after this deployment, we, uh, creation of the Kubernetes cluster, we will deploy one service and deployment set, and we will check it where, uh, and uh, we will test it in this part two. In part three, part three we will cover how to create a Kubernetes cluster in the Google Kubernetes engine like GKE. This GKE is a platform, Google is provided GKE as a platform as a service. So we need to run some specific command in the Google Kubernetes engine and Google will create the JKE cluster. So here, what is the difference between the command line and the, and the, and the GKE? In JKE, GKE server, uh, Google is not providing us to access on the master server. And he's also not charging for that. So here we have access, we will access only the node server and we will uh, use, the, use the G Cloud uh, utility tool for that uh, Google Cloud and we will connect to the cluster for that. I will show you this thing. And we will deploy one uh, services in the Kubernetes and we will test those applications. And in the part four, uh, we'll create a Kubernetes cluster on the AWS Elastic Kubernetes Services, this is EK, EKS. That is a, also, uh, sorry, this is a platform as a service provided by the AWS. So we will do it in the AWS uh, cloud and we'll create this uh, EKS uh, cluster over here. And after that, we will deploy one Kubernetes uh, services over here and we will check, we will test it. So basically part three and part four, both are the services which are provided by the Google Cloud and, uh, and AWS. And part two is a creation of uh, installation of the Kubernetes cluster using commands 
which we can do in the both environment, AWS and GCP. Yes. So mainly this part, three parts is basically for the installation and basically for the creation of the Kubernetes cluster because we are deploying the CI CD pipeline uh, using CI CD pipeline and deploying application to the Kubernetes cluster. So we need that cluster. So we will start from the Kubernetes cluster. And uh, after when we will create all uh, two, three, four, three clusters uh, environment we created, then we will move to the uh, Jenkins uh, CI CD portion. So in the next four portion, this all four, uh, five, six, and seven, uh, five, six, seven, and eight are, are, are the uh, CI CD pipeline uh, that will deploy on the Kubernetes cluster, which we have created in the part two, three, and four. So in part five, uh, what we will do, we will create, uh, we will uh, use another server and we will install the Jenkins over there. And we will install Jenkins using the command line. And also we need to run, run some specific Kubernetes command. So we will, we need to install kubectl. Kubectl is a tool which is used by the Kubernetes. And after this things, we need, we have, we will deploy this application to the Kubernetes, a custom Kubernetes cluster. What is the meaning of the custom Kubernetes cluster? Why I'm saying it is a custom because we are here in the part two, we are creating manually for the manager and nodes. So we will deploy uh, uh, this application from here using CI CD pipeline in this uh, part two Kubernetes cluster, which is created earlier. And uh, we will use this pipeline script over here. I will show in this video later on. In the part six, we will use uh, Jenkins Docker image. And again, we will deploy in the custom Kubernetes cluster. This, this uh, application, we will use this uh, part two Kubernetes cluster for deployment purpose. And uh, <clears throat> Here, what is the difference in part five and six? This is here we will use the Jenkins Docker images instead of using the uh, installation of the Jenkins the command line. We had something different. We will use directly image. And here we will show you. Uh, uh, I will show you how you can use the uh, Kubernetes cloud services. Uh, this uh, plugin. How can we use that thing? So. There are different way for using this, uh, deploying this uh, application to the Kubernetes using this six, uh, part six video. So here we will uh, use the pipeline script from SCM and we will use the Jenkins file for deploying, uh, for creating the CI CD pipeline. And later we will move to the part seven. Here we will use the Google Kubernetes engine GKE, which is created in the part three. And we will deploy deployment of Docker image from Jenkins to JKE Google Kubernetes engine using Google Cloud. And here we will, we will use again Jenkins file for the creating the CI CD pipeline. And this uh, demo, this part seven demo, this one is totally on the JKE Google Cloud because we will create this uh, Jenkins uh, server. The Jenkins server will create in, create in the uh, Google Cloud and same Google Cloud, we will use the JKE, which is created in the part three here. So we will combination of part three, uh, using the part three, we will do the seven. This is totally on based on the Google Cloud. And uh, Part eight uh, demo, we will use the Docker image on the AWS. This is purely AWS things. AWS we, can, we will use here. And uh, because we will deploy Docker image to the AWS instance, and also we will push the Docker image to AWS ECR. This is let's speak container registry. This thing we will show, this is purely in AWS things. We will discuss it in demo eight. And demo seven is totally based on the JKE, GKE, which is Google Cloud, GCP, we will use this thing here. And five and six demo, we can use AWS, either AWS or 
RGCP, which nodes, which uh, cluster we wish create in the part two. So we can do same thing in the anyone, AWS RGCP, but uh, in demo, I will use uh, GCP. And so in both demo, we will cover in the GCP, but, but we can do the same thing in AWS. This is a common for both. So I hope this is clear to clear to you what what uh, what things we will cover in the next next video. So we will uh, we will discuss the things later on regarding the part two, three, four, five, six, and the different different videos. So I created here a set of eight video video, and every video we will cover one part. So this part is only introduction. So I'm giving you introduction what things we will cover in the later videos. And you can see here, uh, this is a flow for both, uh, uh, all four demos here. So user will just uh, check in the code in the GitHub and Jenkins will take the code from the GitHub and it will create uh, using the Maven, it will create a build and create a var file or jar file based on the code check-in. And uh, after that, it will call the Docker file, create the Docker image, and that Docker image, uh, Docker image is pushed in the Docker Hub here. And from the Docker Hub, it is pulled by the Kubernetes services, and Kubernetes, it will deploy here in the Kubernetes. Uh, the services will deploy, it, will, it is creating the ports, it will create the deployment set and the services which services can be accessible by the end user again this way. So this thing we will show in the demo in the five and six and seven. And uh, in the eight, eight number demo here, in eight demo, we will show you Let me erase it. So in this, uh, in the eight number demo, we will use the AWS instance as well as uh, uh, ECR. So that thing we will, uh, we will Docker image will be pushed to the Docker image will be run in the AWS instance. And also Docker image same will be pushed to the Amazon ECR. We will cover in the, in the demo number eight. And other three demos, uh, this thing we will cover this thing in uh, this uh, this way. The total process we will cover over here in deployment in the Kubernetes. So I hope uh, this is clear to you what things we will cover in the later portion. So if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. We will meet in the next video where part two, video number two, where we will discuss on the installation of the Kubernetes cluster with manager and node using the command line, where we can use any of the Google Cloud, like uh, AWS Cloud, anyone, we can use it right here. So thanks for now.